Uh, this is also something I got from Louis Rossman. I was corrected. He is black, so his name was not pronounced in the French way, I suppose. Uh, I will read this real quick. And um, the gist is that his Amazon smart home revolted against him. The sequence of events that led to this digital exile began innocuously enough. A package was delivered to my house on Wednesday and everything seemed fine. The following day, however, I found out that my Amazon Echo show had signed out and I was unable to interact with my smart home devices. My initial assumption was that someone might have attempted to access my account repeatedly, triggering a lockout. I use a fairly old email address for my Amazon account, and it's plausible that my old password might have been exposed in the past data breach. However, I currently use the strong auto-generated pa passwords via Apple and employ two-factor authentication with an authenticator app. So authorized, unauthorized access seemed unlikely. I checked my other accounts to ensure I hadn't been compromised. All seemed normal with no flood of notifications from Microsoft authenticator that would indicate an attempted breach. Puzzled, I followed the advice of the Amazon app and dialed the customer service number it provided. That's when things began to take a tur surreal turn. The representative told me I should have received an email, which I indeed found in my inbox. It was from an executive at Amazon. As I dialed the number provided in the email, I half wondered if Amazon was experiencing some issue and I was unwittingly following into a scam. When I connected with the executive, they asked if I knew why my account had been locked. When I answered that I was unsure, their tone turned somewhat accusatory. I was told that the driver who had delivered my package reported receiving racist remarks from my Ring doorbell. It's actually a UFI, but I'll let that slide. Here's where things got even more baffling. First, I have multiple cameras recording everything that happens on my property. If the driver's claims were accurate, I could easily identify them with video footage. Second, most delivery drivers in my area share the same race as me and my family. It seemed highly unlikely that we would make such remarks. Finally, when I asked what time the alleged incident occurred, I realized it was practically impossible for anyone in my house to have made those comments as nobody was home around that time at 6 p.m. I reviewed the footage and confirmed that no comments had been made. Instead, the UFI doorbell had issued the automated response, Excuse me, can I help you? The driver who was walking away and wearing headphones must have misinterpreted the message. Nevertheless, by the following day, my account was locked. Um and all my Echo devices were logged out. I have to say, and I mean this sincerely, if you have these smart devices in your fucking home, you are the apex of nigger cattle. You fucking disgust me. I actually, literally hate you. I hate you. I don't want you listening to my streams. I hope you jump off a fucking cliff. And when, if you want to fix your house, I want you to take them and I want you to burn them. Do not take your Amazon Echo and throw it away, write it off on taxes and give it to a, a, a Goodwill or some shit. Because these things should not exist. You should physically destroy it in your backyard using either fire or uh, percussive instruments such as a hammer so that they cannot function anymore. By the way, he uses everything in his home was shut down because an uh, because a man of melanated distinction misheard his automated doorbell chime and that's all it takes you don't have due process with mega corporations so take it and fucking break it do not accept gifts from your family your family says hey i know that you're like computer stuff i bought you an echo don't accept it and explain to them that this device is fucking cancer and they just tried to give you a bomb that was set to go off in your house and, and spy on you and shut off all your applications and shit. Like, don't, don't even be, don't even be nice about it and accept it and smile and say, thank you. Give it back to them and say, return this. It is fucking awful. You just put in my lap metaphysical evil that I do not want anywhere around me or anyone I care about. And that Yuffie shit that he uses, by the way, is also cloud. I was looking at security shit. All the Yuffie stuff is cloud. And supposedly the last generation uh, that, um, what's his face? Linus Tech Tips was promoting. It was supposed to be completely, um, 
completely like offline, but they were still sending images off to the Amazon web services uh, in China, I think, to process images and put them on your phone so that you could get notifications. And then when Linus Tech Tips called them out for the fact that they were not completely offline and they were using AWS to, to process images because they were using that for phone notifications, Instead of saying, oh, we'll fix that and we'll just make it so that those phone notifications are optional, their next generation of, of, of equipment is 100% online and it doesn't work at all if you're disconnected from the internet. So what the fuck is even the point of a, a surveillance system for your home that doesn't work if your internet doesn't work? You know what you do if you want to rob a house that has this shit for home security? Apparently, you just cut the ethernet cable or you take one of those um, th uh, signal jammers and you put it in your backpack and then everything is offline because it uses Wi-Fi. Like, what a, what, what a disaster. I'm honestly curious um, if there is a surveillance system that has um, that's completely offline. Like, are there any? Are there any that don't require the internet to function at this point in time? If there is, let me know because I'm really curious. Uh, Linus Tech Tips was using something else, by the way. He was using, he switched over to, um, I think I have a bookmark somewhere. Home base? Oh, that's Yuffie. I'm not sure what he switched over. Or maybe it's Ubiquity that he switched over to. I don't know, but, but I'm really curious if there's one that's actually complete Unify. I'm not sure. I'll look into it. I've been looking into it. Closed circuit television, maybe. That's a pain in the ass, though. It would be nice to have, like, facial recognition stuff that's, like, on the firmware so that you can record faces and stuff on your own computer. It's not that it's impossible for these technologies to be made uh, uh, practical and consumer goods. It's just that they don't want to. They want your shit to be plugged into the cloud and always feeding in information. A fucking... 10 year old GPU can do machine learning fast enough to recognize faces with open source technology that's out there right now. It's completely possible to make home surveillance systems that don't upload to the cloud. They just choose not to. Uh, it's really, it's really disgusting. So I, I am curious if there's a company out there that actually does cameras that have convenience features baked into the firmware that do not need internet access and can run on like its own network. Uh, so I don't know. Email me, send me your, your, your Linus tech tips. I'm curious, but definitely don't use Amazon for the love of God. Don't even live near people who use Amazon. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC. Remember to like and subscribe.